and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday the 5th of December, so it's Vlogmas Day 5. I'm just going to move you back very slightly so I'm not cutting my head out. So yeah, because I, um, I have a little stand I found that one stand that my phone sits in, which seems to work better, and he's actually gr grinding again. I think it's because it's turned off, and I think he's wondering why it's turned off. So today, let me just put my phone into quiet mode. So no one rings. I've already had one knock at the door, which was a neighbour that I don't know. And he was moaning. So today, my plants. Um, let me just take this off. I am going to get my advent cowl. Just started section five for today. So these are the first four sections. One, two, three, four. And we'll have this one done. It takes about about an hour to do. So yeah, so it takes about an hour. So I shall get this. This is the um candy mountain cowl. But this is my M cow. This is my not my M cow. This is my um Advent cowl. So we shall see how much more we get done using some truly wool rich in cream and some Zorba ball in the denim colourway. That is my first one. It doesn't take that long to do. The colour work session is pretty quick, so that's quite good. Um, I wet a bit of my socks this morning. I have started heel one. I'm doing which I'm part way through. I'll leave it in. So I've just started the first heel flap, and the other part is just sitting there waiting, and it doesn't move. But I might put a I have a hair. I might just put maybe in a a, um, a bobble or something there. Like a, it seems to, if it moves, if it goes down, I'll put something in it so I stop it. But it seems to stay there at the minute. It's just like dangling. So yeah, so I'm going to get this section done. That's done for the day. And I need to, I want to try and get as much of this heel flap and then get onto this one as much as I can. So that is, the yards are some West Yorkshire spinners sock. I need to find out what the colourway is. I'll have to have a look. I think it's the peacock colourway, I could be wrong. And then this is truly wool, which, and I need to find out what colourway this is because I'm not completely sure, because I do really like it and then I have a starflake on one and a angel on the other. So yes, they are living in my and they are doing on 2.25 mil needles. This one is done a 3.5 mil. So that is in my sock bag. I went to do some so i have a slight attack of the knitting so i was a bit annoyed i was working on my own car and i dropped some of the stitches on one side and it's the ones where you're picking up stitches and it's got an increased row and i dropped stitches and it was such an awkward spot where i had to take it out so yes so now we are back down to the bit where i've actually got to pick up stitches again and start that part again because i'd done about eight rows so I was a bit annoying. So I had a slight tack of the knitting this morning. So I just basically just shoved it all back in the bag and it's gonna go into timeout till it can behave itself. I'm a bit annoyed about that. Um, I worked some more on my jumper last night. I'm very close to splitting for the body and split sleeves. So 
So I did do a, a few, another, how many repeats did I do? I think, I think I've done four. I've got to do, I've got four more repeats left to do from the bear and then I split the sleeves. And I would like to get that done hopefully by tonight. And it's just plain knitting. And then after that, it's knitting 11 inches to the pocket part. So that is how much I've done. And then my yarn for that one is King Cole Moose Duet in the Moody Blue colorway, which is shade um, 821. So yeah, so that is how much I've done on that, which would re actually, it will go that way round. And the increases are quite nice. There's no holes or anything in it, which is, which is quite good. So yeah, so it's quite good. That, um, I shall work on later. Or maybe after lunch, we'll see. And then after that, it's just completely just knitting, um, just knit, knit a row, parallel row, knit a row, parallel row. And my yarn coat, um, my wool genie is in here. And the bag I've made is big enough to fit a wool genie and it literally fits in it perfect. So I'm really pleased with that. And it's, stand, it's actually standing in it, so it's just standing. So that's good. That means if I need to take it anywhere, I can travel with it. So that is why I've done day. But yes, I had a neighbour knock on the door and he lives. We have flats next door this side. He lives the other side and I've never spoken to him, but he just shouted people. So yeah, but he was moaning and I was like, no, sorry. He's just, he have to deal with it with the people who own this part so yeah <sighs> it's like oh, please go away but i am waiting for parcels um i don't think anything will come today i need to actually send a parcel today if i can if it's there tomorrow we'll see i need to check if we have any more postal strikes because they keep giving us postal strikes so do we have any more um, okay. Don't know. Um, because if I can get this parcel sent would be ideal. Um, the knife's left the 14th, 15th, 23rd, 24th. So yeah, so it should be fine. So I shall um, get her present wrapped because there's somewhere extra to go in this so I'm not going to show you what it is so that she gets a, an extra surprise. So I shall get that wrapped up and I'll take it in a bit. Right, I shall um, go for now and I shall update you later on on what I've worked on. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is now 10 to 8 already. So I've decided to um, record a little bit later than I would normally. And now the grandchildren have gone and I have a slight glare in my glasses. What can I do? But yes, they've gone now and my husband's gone to see his dad and stuff. So I have a slight last bit of update. Uh, first, I have done a little bit more on my cowl. How much? So I've done four, about five rows. I do need to actually finish this one, but I might finish it in the morning because I'm trying to get the last bit of pot on this sock I need to just do. So I've done that much. Of day five which i'll finish it in the morning or maybe later it must have been in the morning so yeah so that is why i've done on that i have not done any more on the account that is going to wait until tomorrow yes i'm a bit annoyed with that so that can wait 
on my socks I have done try and not knock anything off so I've done both heels and the heel turns and I'm now doing the decreases and I'm using my increase decrease markers so this is the decrease one and I meant to actually put one where it has so it has knit one And then it will be a decrease one. So if you, so if I decrease, I go to this side of it, and then I'm meant to have had a knit one. So if I'm doing a plain round, I can pick a knit up, and if I'm doing a decrease round, I pick a decrease up. But see, but I'm only using them like that. But I need to remember which one I need to actually alter them. And I have it on both sides, and this is my centre marking as well. So yeah, so I've done a couple of the, try not knock anything off, so I've just started doing the decreases. So I would like to get these done tonight and then let's just do the foot. So that is how much I have done then, which I'm really pleased. And then I'll have contrast in toes as well. So that is what I'm doing and I am watching on Netflix the a castle for christmas and there is one part on there where she walks through and they're all sitting there knitting so yeah so that is um it's a really funny film it's quite good so that is why i'm sitting watching while i'm doing this so let me just move these markers I had some different markers in and i was like no i use my new ones i made So that is my plan tonight, is to actually get the this decrease done on these socks. And I will link the video, so basically you actually, um, instead of putting this one onto a needle and then working this, you do the first half of the foot. So you do the heel flap and pick up the first lot of stitches. Then you go over to the other one and do the heel flap and then the heel turn and then do the other half of the stitches. And it's something I haven't done for a while so, and I couldn't remember how to do it. So I shall link to the video on how she shows you how to do it. And then she has videos for doing um learn how to do socks on magic loop you can do them on magic loop i think it's double points don't know if she does two circles which i've never done before and the nine inch so yeah but um quite often i do two at a time so they are very very slightly i actually even have thought about i'd have actually made sure i had the stitches being picked up properly but it's fine they're only slightly out but yeah but they are my christmas socks so um that is what i am doing at the moment and then tomorrow i can hopefully get these sleeves se um, separated for the sleeves on my cardigan which i'd like to do but i just want to get these decreased section done on these socks and then it's just plain knitting then. And we shall see how we get on. Anyway, I shall let you go and I shall speak to you tomorrow.